How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and today we have another video here. This is going to be on the Amazon uh, Fire 5th Gen. These are the tablets that you've seen on Amazon Black Friday for $33. Um, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade the current firmware to a firmware that we can then access and root and hack. Um, so if you get one of these devices, do what I'm doing right here, follow the steps. This is like you get it when you first turn it on. So what you want to do is you want to come in here and you want to skip any kind of Wi-Fi setup and just get the device booting up, okay? Just skip it. Skip all that, all right? Um, once you've got into it like this, I'm just going to show you what we're on. So we're going to go into settings, device options, system update, and you can see up here on the top that the firmware currently is Fire OS 5.3.2.0. Okay, now this firmware version can be downgraded to 5.3.1 and no lower, only that version. But downgrading just to that version, which is what we're going to do in this video, will allow you to get root access and use my super tool. So if you haven't seen that video, you got to check it out. I'll link it in the video description down below. All right, so now that we understand what we're on. We're not connected to any Wi Fi. We don't want to let, let any new updates download and install automatically. So we're going to go ahead and power off the device and we're going to go ahead and do the downgrade. Now this video is going to be downgrading with a Mac. So I have a video on how to downgrade firmware uh, showing how to do it with Windows. But in this video, I'm going to do it with Mac. So you have some variants if you have Windows or Mac. Okay. So first thing we got to do once it's powered off is we got to get into uh, recovery mode. And to do that, you're going to hold volume down on your uh, keys up here on the top and then you're going to hold power. And you're going to just keep holding volume down and power until it boots into recovery mode. Um, it does take a little bit to do that. So just keep holding them and it will get there. So we're just going to let them go here. Come on. There we go. We are in recovery mode. Um, so from here, go ahead and plug in your USB cable. So I'm going to go ahead and do mine into the device there you go be careful plugging in your usb cable these devices are very very uh sensitive and the, the the plug is not the best quality the port i should say um so just be careful make sure you plug in the right way and all those things okay we're in recovery mode we can actually do the downgrade now so i'm going to go to my computer show you what else we need to uh, download and get set up to do this full process here all right so guys what we're going to do is we're going to download some things to do this process so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're gonna to need to download this firmware. And I'll give you a link to it in the description. So this is the 5.3.1 firmware, which we can downgrade if you're on this firmware. So you can downgrade that far, but no farther. I've already downloaded it. You can see it's right there. I went ahead and downloaded it. The other thing you're gonna need is you're gonna to need to have ADB and fast food files. So you can get those a couple ways. One, you can come in here and you can find the ADB fast food files for Mac right there. Um, or you can just download the super tool which is what I'm going to probably work out of on my computer. And that's right here, Super Tool. And uh, you download uh, the, the latest one right here. Yeah, right there. And you can download that, extract it to your desktop, and then we can work out of that. So once you've got these files downloaded and set up, then you're good to go. So let's close this down. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to, to open a terminal window. So to do that, you can click on Launchpad, and you can come up here in the top and type in T... E R and there's terminal so we're going to click on terminal and we have to CD to the directory that we need to be in that has your ADB and fast food files so to do that um, right here is my super tool that I've extracted click in here and right here is the directory that has the uh, files I need which are these ADB files and ours specifically are going to be for OS X so I need to have that file so I need to be in this directory so the best way and easiest way to do that is to come in here and do CD space and then just click and drag that folder in and hit enter and that just changed directories to that location right there okay so now we can actually run these programs so to do this I'm going to type dot slash ADB OS X and then I'm going to type help and uh, you can see that when you do this, it just shows you that ADB is functional because it gives you all these help menus. So you know you're accessing ADB correctly. All right, so now we're going to type in um, the same command again, but instead of help, we're going to type in devices. 
hit enter. And you can see it's starting a demand right here and um, it didn't find anything, okay? So now let's go back over to my device and we can set this thing up to do this downgrade. So come over here and scroll down with volume up and down. Volume up looks like it scrolls down until you get to uh, the second one actually from the top right there. Apply update from ADB. Once it's highlighted, hit power. And that's gonna put this device into ADB mode. So now we can go ahead and do that command again, um, which is the basically ADB devices, but it's ADB OS X devices, and hit enter. And you can see that it returns with uh, the serial number and it says sideload. So that means we're in sideload mode. We can go ahead and flash the stock firmware. So <clears throat> what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in that dot slash ADB OS X and then space side load space and then we're gonna we're gonna put, drag in the firmware so my firmware is in my download folder so I'm gonna open up the folder right here and right there is the firmware bin it's a bin file and we're gonna drag it right over here into this location alright so then when that our command is ADB uh, our dot slash adb osx side load and then the file I dragged in and when you drag it in it brings in the whole file extension so it makes it real simple so once you've got that and you're ready to go again before you do this make sure that you're on 532 if you're on anything else you could possibly break your device by downgrading it and also make sure you're downgrading to 531 super critical okay if you're on that firmware in that order um, all right so I'm gonna hit enter And you can see it right here, it gives you a percentage of the firmware flash. If you look at the device down at the bottom, it says it's verifying the update package. So basically at this point, we just sit back and let the downgraded firmware take place. Um, definitely, you know, this could take 20 minutes possibly, depending on your computer speed, your cable, you know, how the device is receiving the packages, lots of different things. So sit back and uh, relax. Now, if you have a bad download, or um, there's some other issue with communication, it's gonna fail the update because it's gonna verify the package and say it's not the right package. So, um, but at this point we're, we should be good. So we're just gonna come back to it once we get closer to the end here. All right guys, so here we go. You can see we're all the way up to 90%. It's been about five minutes for my computer to do this process. Um, the thing I like to point out on the tablet is that it went ahead and went from verifying update package to installing update package to patching system unconditionally and the reason that we can use ADB sideload to do this is the fact that it it does it. it it patches the system unconditionally and actually there you go you can see that the process just wrapped up so we're actually done on the computer here you can just close out your terminal window and any folders that you are in and then over on the device here um, you can go ahead and unplug your cable at this point you don't need that plugged in anymore the one thing I would recommend doing um, is going in here and going down to wipe data factor reset and delete the device completely so it's a clean slate again even though we really started with a clean slate with our our setup but if you had installed apps and then you downgraded it's best to just wipe it all out and kind of start over now that you downgraded the uh, device so we're gonna go ahead and hit um, power scroll down to yes delete all user data Oop, too far and hit that one and it's gonna go ahead and wipe the device completely clean. Once that happens, I'm gonna go ahead and let it do its, its boot up really quickly and just show you back in settings that we are fully downgraded. So here you go, this will be our initial boot. Now, if, if this was done wrong, you won't even see that most likely. If you downgraded too far, or didn't downgrade to the correct firmware, um, you'll probably be stuck in what's called a hard brick and what happens with a hard brick is you don't see that Amazon logo, you don't see this fire logo, you see nothing. When you hit that reboot out of recovery, it's done. The thing never turns on again. You plug it into your computer, it maybe goes diddy diddy in your computer, makes a connection sound, and then doesn't anymore, and that's it. It's it's toast because you basically downgrade the firmware too far and it will not boot up. Um, there's no fix for that at this point. Unfortunately, if your device is in the first 30 days of buying it, you can return it to Amazon and get a new one. Um, if it's after that, you're kind of, you know, out of luck. You might be able to get them to give you a discounted price on one, even though they're already so cheap. 
but that's pretty much the situation. So I'm gonna let this boot up and just show you, like I said, that we are now fully running 531. So I just wanna point out while this thing is finishing the boot up process, it does say right here, it's optimizing system storage and applications. That happens anytime you wipe data factory set the device. Um, it also, I think will happen even if you don't do that and you just do the downgrade, um, it's still gonna do this process, but definitely when you wipe data factory set. Um, it also shows this a lot of times when your firmware is updating. It also says it's gonna take 10 minutes. Uh, that's normally worst case scenario. It normally doesn't quite take that long to do. Um, so just be aware of that this just take time. You gotta, you gotta have patience when you're working with these devices, um, especially something with a little bit lower specs like the Fire 5th uh, Gen here. So also just wanna point out also, I mean, if you guys have this device and you're downgrading, obviously you probably wanna get root access. You probably wanna remove the ads. You wanna use the functionality of the super tool. Um, I'd highly, highly recommend when you use the super tool that I've created to go ahead and make sure you disable OTA updates because otherwise you're going to be stuck in a problem. So just make sure you do that once you get root access. Okay, so you can see we're back. Again, I'm just going to go through the process without connecting to Wi-Fi. If you connect to Wi-Fi right here, it's very likely that you'll actually update your firmware again, and we don't want that. So um, you want to do everything you can do without connecting to Wi-Fi. Um, so get everything you can get done on it without doing that. That just a protection to keep you from, you know, uh, getting in there and having this thing update again, which you don't want. So go to device options, uh, system updates again. And now you can see up here on the top, we're on FileOS 531.0. So there you go. That is it. You have officially downgraded the firmware here on Mac. That is the process. Again, if you want it for Windows, definitely check out that video. I'll link you a bunch of stuff in the video description down below. So you have every file you're going to need, all of their video tutorials, um, my website, rejunkie.com. Uh, there's tons of good stuff on there as well. So if you want to mod and upgrade this device, now you can do that. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for more videos on this device and other tech that I follow um, and, you know, develop on. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.